So in the last session we started with uh, defining the stability of limit cycle using the describing function method and uh, we saw that how uh, the curve g g omega if it encloses the minus 1 by nx curve then the system will be unstable that point will be unstable and for any point uh, for increasing values of omega if the g g omega does not uh, enclose the curve minus 1 by nx then th that point will be uh, that limit cycle will be stable and uh, I discussed that will be uh, uh, discussing the perturbation perturbation method now this will actually give us the same result uh, what we do is if uh, say for example let us take a curve the g g omega curve and this is a minus 1 by nx curve uh, so this for an increasing values of x and the another one is for increasing values of uh, om omega so this is a point x2 on this curve this is a point x3 on this curve and let this point where we actually have the limit cycle uh, let it be denoted by L and the X be at this time X1 and uh, the frequency be Omega 1 So what does the perturbation method say if x1 is increased by a very small value so that the new amplitude is x3 fine we are increasing increasing x1 by a small value and therefore the new amplitude is uh, new amplitude is x3 where x3 is greater than x1 where this new amplitude x3 is greater than x1 uh, now this new operating point is in a region where the g g omega plot and closes the minus 1 by nx plot hence x3 lies in an unstable region this point this point lies in a region enclosed this point lies in a region enclosed uh, by the gg omega plot and therefore uh, x3 lies in an unstable region similarly say for example now x1 is reduced x1 is decreased new amplitude is x2 
x2 where x2 is less than x1 uh, so what we see is that the point uh, x2 is not enclosed uh, by the gg omega plot and hence lies in a stable region so we are decreasing and increasing the values of x1 uh, very by a very small magnitude uh, where x3 will be either in the stable region or x2 will be in the unstable region either increase or decrease in x causing divergence of the operating point from the initial operating point leads to unstable limit cycle so any small perturbation of x uh, either increase or in decrease which causes a divergence causing divergence of operating point uh, from the initial operating point is uh, implies unstable limit cycle So this is the first uh, scenario where either an increase in x2 or a decrease in x1 uh, resulted in uh, uh, leading to unstable behavior. So the limit cycle is classified as an unstable limit cycle. But if we have a case like this, this is our GG Omega line. This is our X1, this is our X3, this is our X2. Uh, now what we see in this case, uh, for a value of x3 greater than x1 uh, for an increase in x1 x3 lies in a stable region while as x2 uh, x3 lies in a stable region while as a decrease where x2 is the decreased value uh, less than x1 x2 lies in an unstable region So such small perturbation where the increase or decrease in x uh, does not actually cause the divergence of operating point from the initial conditions. This is termed to be as the stable limit cycle. So this is uh, how we can define using the perturbation technique stability and unstability. We have also seen simply using uh, the principle whether our point for increasing values of omega and x if our point is 
uh, tending towards a region where the G G omega curve will enclose the minus one by n x curve, then it is unstable. If it leads to a region where the G G omega curve will not enclose the minus one by n x curve, then it is in a stable region. So this is uh, simply the how we can define the stability for uh, system. Uh, stability of a limit cycle using the describing function method. Now using these equations, using this uh, what we have studied so far, let us consider the nonlinear system described below. Let's do a problem. Consider an NLS described in figure 1 and determine whether there exists limit cycle in the system and if it does exist determine its stability We have to first of all determine for the system where the nonlinear element is actually an on off relay, a simple relay, and our transfer function is k divided by s plus 1 into 0.1 s plus 1 whole square. Uh, so we need to find out whether this, whether there exists a limit cycle for the system, and if it does, whether it is a stable limit cycle or an unstable limit cycle so we need to solve this we know the describing function of uh, on of relay that we have already found n of x is equal to 4 m by pi x angle 0 uh, here m is uh, this is here m is actually the magnitude of the on of relay that is m is equal to 1 therefore minus nx is equal to minus 4 by pi times x and which implies minus 1 by nx is equal to minus pi x by 4 so this is let our, this be our equation number 1 uh, uh, so we have to actually plot equation number 1 in the g g omega plane for uh, different values of x varying from 0 to infinity plot equation 1 or x ranging from 0 to infinity fine uh, and as far as the g s is concerned we have k divided by s plus 1 
point one of s plus one whole square which implies g j omega is equal to k divided by j omega plus one Uh, point one of j omega plus one whole square. Uh, so g j omega is in this form. So magnitude of g j omega is what? And what we'll be doing is we'll be assuming that uh, k is equal to one. So uh, magnitude of g j omega therefore becomes 1 by under root of omega square plus 1 into under root of point 1 omega square plus 1 so this is our magnitude and phase uh, similarly we can find out the phase uh, so for this system so once you plot the pol polar plot or you can say the up next plot of the system for increasing values of omega from 0 to infinity uh, for omega equal to 0 to infinity so this will be at omega equal to 0 this will be at omega equal to infinity uh, so this is a Nike polar plot of this system, uh, half of the Nike plot actually, and uh, GJ omega only, and uh, this is the imaginary part of GJ omega. This is the real values of GJ omega. Once you plot the minus 1 by nx curve, what you will be seeing, you will be getting a curve like this. You will be getting a curve like this, I will be showing that in some other color. while varying x from 0 to infinity minus 1 by nx will vary from 0 to minus infinity so this is actually the minus 1 by nx curve uh, it's a, it is a straight line along the uh, negative values of the x axis now since it intersects our uh, system at this very point the minus 1 by nx curve minus 1 by nx curve intersects the g j omega plot at a particular location Let's say for example the values of uh, magnitude and frequency are x and omega at this point so you can actually calculate x and omega we will be calculating that uh, so it does intersect uh, this curve therefore the system is uh, does have a limit cycle the system has a limit cycle Now as far as the frequency and the amplitude of uh, oscillation of the limit cycle is concerned, what uh, we need to find out the values of x and omega. So uh, we know that the angle of g j omega is equal to minus tan inverse of omega by 1 minus tan inverse of 0.1 omega by 1. So that is minus tan inverse of minus 0.1 and it's since it is twice it's square time so this becomes minus 2 tan inverse of 0 0.1 omega so this is the phase of the system and at uh, this particular position the phase is equal to minus 1 by 80 degrees
this is the phase of g j omega minus tan inverse of omega minus twice tan inverse of 0.1 omega and uh, since we are trying to find out this particular value uh, where the limit cycle is at that time the angle is minus 1 by 8, 1 by 80 degrees so this is equal to minus 1 by 80 degrees so from here uh, you can say omega is equal to under root of uh, 120 that is approximately 10.95 radians per second or 11 radians per second for the amplitude what we know about amplitude is the magnitude of gg omega uh, at this point is equal to the magnitude of minus 1 by nx curve that means uh, 1 by under root of 1 plus omega square into 0.1 omega square plus 1 is equal to uh, this actually square times this is square times right. this is equal to minus 1 by nx minus 1 by nx is minus 5x by 4 uh, pi x by 4 so our shooting value of omega equal to 10.95 you need to calculate the value of x so x will come out to be uh, I think 0 0.052 you can check that you can verify that so x the magnitude of oscillation is equal to 0 0.052 and the frequency of oscillation is equal to uh, um, frequency of oscillation is equal to uh, what uh, it is 10.95 radians per second and from the perturbation method if you increase the value of x uh, x3 lies uh, in a region that is enclosed by the minus enclosed by the g g omega curve therefore unstable so you can say actually from uh, the perturbation method the system is unstable try to solve this problem uh, you have another system find out whether uh, the limit cycle exists for this system and if it does what is the frequency and what is the magnitude of the limit cycle uh, oscillation of uh, the magnitude and frequency of the oscillation so you have a saturation here And G of S is equal to 10 divided by S, S plus 1, 0.5 of S plus 1. So, uh, G, G omega plot 10 divided by G omega, G omega plus 1, 0.5 G omega plus 1. So you know you can you have the magnitude of the system you can uh, plot the phasor plot of the system fine and uh, the the polar plot of the system will be something like this you can you know that this is a type 1 system so the polar plot should look something like this uh, you can find out the magnitude extra for the system and uh, you know the describing function of a saturation block uh, 2k by pi sin inverse of s by x plus s by x under root of 1 minus s by x square where in this case s is equal to 1 uh, the magnitude this s this is the magnitude my plus 1 and minus 1 s is equal to 1 so you can substitute that you can find out the disc the uh, the plot of minus 1 by nx curve you can find out the plot of g omega is already there we can see whether this whether the two lines intersect if they intersect 
uh, what will be the frequency and the magnitude of oscillation then so this is uh, for this session today we'll continue with the describing function more about describing function in the next session